Cutting forces for rotating tools such as drilling and milling cutters are very complex. There are a variety of different formulas out there to calculate the cutting force. In this video, we're going to analyze a specific drilling force cutting calculation. In this equation, CF equals the cutting force, HP is the horsepower, and CS is the cutting speed. The 33,000 is a constant. As you recall, one horsepower equals 550 foot-pounds of force per second, and there are 60 seconds in a minute. When we multiply 550 times 60, we get 33,000 foot-pounds per minute. To find the cutting speed, we'll look this up in a table, usually in the machinery handbook or from the manufacturer's tables provided with the tool. The next step we need to perform before we can use our formula is to calculate the horsepower required for the drilling operation. To calculate horsepower, we have to first calculate the cubic inches of material removed per minute, multiply this by the k-factor, and then divide by the machine efficiency. K-factors, also often called unit power or power constants, and in inch, the units are horsepower per cubic inches per minute. These values can be found in the machinery handbook or other sources that supply such tables. The k-factor assumes that a sharp cutting tool is used and it's directly related to the Brindle hardness of the material being machined. To calculate the cubic inches per minute of material removal, we multiply the tool feed rate in inches per minute times the tool diameter squared times pi over four. Now that we know all of the formulas required, let's do a sample calculation. If I need to calculate the cutting force to drill this 0.47 diameter hole in my valve body, which is cast iron, my first step is to calculate the cubic inches of material removed per minute. To do this, I need to calculate a feed rate. And to calculate the feed rate, I first need to calculate the RPM. Since the cutting speed for a high-speed steel drill in this material is 90, the RPM will be 90 times 12 divided by pi times the diameter, which equals 730 revolutions per minute. To calculate the feed rate, I need to multiply the RPM times the number of flutes times the feed per tooth. So 731 times a two flute drill times a feed per tooth of 5 thou per rev gives me a feed rate of 7.31 inches per minute. Now we can solve for the cubic inches per minute. We can multiply 7.31 times 0.47 squared times pi divided by four, which gives us 1.268 cubic inches per minute of material removal. Now we can solve for the horsepower. If we take the cubic inches of material removal of 1.268 and we multiply by a k-factor of 0.9 and assume a 70% machine efficiency, we get a horsepower of 1.63. Now that we know our horsepower, we can solve for the cutting force. If we take 1.63 times 33,000 and we divide by the cutting speed of 90, we get a cutting force of 598 pounds to drill the 0.47 hole. Now that we know using our cutting parameters that one drill will exert a cutting force of 598 pounds, I can design my clamps to withstand the roughly 600 pounds of cutting force. The reason for calculating the cutting force is because we're designing a jigger fixture with, to withstand the cutting forces. So the next thing we need to do is build in a safety factor of two, meaning both our locators and clamps must be capable of resisting two times the cutting force or 1200 pounds of force. The last thing I do before I go ahead and design my jigger fixture to hold this part and resist these cutting forces is ask myself, is the feed heavy enough? In the production environment, will that feed increase somehow? And do I have the required safety factor built in to withstand that? If not, increase the feed and recalculate the values as we can never afford to have a part come out of a jig or fixture during machining.